We're going to divide a two digit number by a one digit number by using a quick pick of a model sharing base 10 blocks. We have 84 and we're going to divide it or share it into six equal groups. In this example, we're going to have the six represent equal groups. So first I'm going to build the 84 with base 10 blocks. So I know 84 in the tens place, there are eight tens and four ones. So we're going to do eight, 10 rods and four ones. Now we're going to draw the six equal groups. Remind students when they're making their equal groups, they want their groups to look as close as possible. So now we're going to take the 84 and share it equally among the six groups. Starting in the tens place, are there enough tens to share equally among six groups? So since I have eight, I know I at least have six to go in each group. So as I place a 10 in a group, I'm going to cross them out from my total. So there's 10. 10, 10. So at this point, I want to know or ask students, do we have enough 10s to be shared among all six groups again? The answer is no. We only have two 10s, and in order for them to be equal, all six groups should get another 10. So then I would ask students, what could we do with what we have left so that each group gets an equal amount? The goal is that you want students to remember that tens can be regrouped as 10 ones. So we're going to take these two 10 rods and regroup them into 20 ones or two groups of 10 ones. So we're going to draw that down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's that first 10. And then the second 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's that second 10. So we're done with those. So now Instead of two tens and four ones, now we have 24 ones. So now, asking students again, do we have enough ones to be shared out equally among the six groups? So we can see visually that there's more than enough. We're going to fill up our groups and cross out the ones as we go along. So let me put it in the group and then cross it out. Just double, double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's six ones in those groups, so now we're going to do it again. All right, we see there's enough again to go in those groups. So we're going to continue. Okay, so at this point we have a smaller amount, so we want to make sure there's enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there is enough. So I'm going to add one more one to each group. So we use up all of the tens and all of the ones. So now we want to double check and make sure each group has an equal amount. And then we want students to remember that the quotient of this expression 
of 84 divided by 6 is the amount that's in one group. So we're going to look at one group since they're all the same amount. Each group has 110 and 4 ones or 14. So 86 divided among 6 equal groups is 14 in each group. We took a two digit number and divided it by a one digit number using a quick pick of a model that shares base 10 blocks among equal groups. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification so that you are alerted anytime I post a new video. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Until next time, have a great day.